And how's it going, guys? It's Josh, a.k.a. Olufemi. What's up, guys? It's Matt Cohen from Gold Coast, Australia. Matt's a really, really dope international director, editor, DP. He travels all over the world. He's going to actually share a really cool trick with you in a little bit. But this video is going to be about legendary Australian music video director, Colin Jeffs. Hi, everyone. I'm Colin Jeffs. He's going to share two incredible music video effects that he's been keeping secret for a little bit. Let's get to them. So what are these two effects that we're gonna be talking about? We're gonna go over something that I call the mask shift and Jeff's echo glitch. What up guys, my name is Colin Jeffs. I'm a filmmaker from the Gold Coast, Australia. These two techniques are really basic. Once you've mastered them, take you two seconds to put into your videos, but they are very eye-catching and effective and will really elevate your filmmaking to the next level. So this is what our base footage looks like. Real, real basic sort of stuff. Um, all right, so what we're going to do, we're gonna duplicate this layer. So we're gonna hold Alt on our keyboard and drag this above. Boom, super easy. Then what we're going to do, um, we're gonna draw a mask around our subject's face. You could use the pen tool if you wanted to be real precise, but in the interest of going fast, we're gonna use this. Just uh, drag the edges in onto his face. We don't want it to go too far outside. Easy, I'm just gonna feather that out so we don't get any hard edges. See what looks good. Be around, around here somewhere. All right, then we're going to search up here for an effect called Echo. Gonna drop that on our top layer, okay? Now, we're just gonna change our intensity to half of what it is, so it's not so bright on his face. So we're gonna go 0.50, something like that. Make sure that your playhead's at the start of your clip. Change everything to zero. Right, we'll leave our echoes at one. Now the only two uh, parameters that we're gonna change in here are our time and our number of echoes. So make sure you check your two stopwatches here um, to create your first keyframe. Gonna move along, for this one we're gonna move along three frames. So with your arrow key, three spaces. Um, then we're gonna create our next keyframe. Change our echoes to two. And we're gonna change our echo time up around the three, 400 mark to create that kind of ghostly glitchy kind of look. Now you can play around with this, um, see what looks good for you. If you do start to take this number too high, it will start to look a little bit whack. So use it sparingly, start small, see what looks good. All right, moving along three frames, change our echoes back down to one. Then bring this number back down. We'll go under zero for this for this one. So at negative 0 0.200. Three frames again. Two, then we're going to take this up. And try around 0 0.200. All right. Now you can already see we're starting to get that look where his face is sort of glitching around, kind of looks pretty ghostly in the scene that we've used. Now what you can actually do, you can keep changing these or you can just drag a box over your keyframes here, right click, copy, move your playhead along three frames, right click, paste. That's if you don't want to have to go through and do the whole clip. We're, walk we're working with a real short clip here, so yeah. But that's, uh, that's the general look that you're getting. Uh, what we'll do then, I've made a little bit of a color preset that I know works with the S-Log footage that I have here. Drop that over the top. You start to really get that look. Easy. So 
guys stop real quick before we finish this tutorial with Colin. Matt is gonna show you a really dope trick that he did out in these islands called the Wit Sundays here in Australia. Check out this clip of the boat. The boat goes from daylight to nighttime in this really dope, weird time-lapse effect. How did you do it? So funny you say that. There was a bit of an accident. I was um, shooting at, towards the sun, shooting the boat, and just kind of spun around, did a little orbit. And it was just the effect that the ND polarizer had and it just turned out really cool. So I think it's really cool how all these production effects and post-production effects that we go over in these tutorials, a lot of them are created just by mistake, by trial and error. We're gonna do more tutorials with Matt in the future where we actually break down some of his real video editing secrets. It's gonna be incredible. Let's get back to this tutorial. All right, for our next effect, guys, we're gonna do what Josh is calling the mask shift. So same as the first effect, we're gonna copy our layer above. All right, holding Alt, we're gonna drag our bottom layer to the top to duplicate it. All right, on this top layer, we don't need this whole thing. Just gonna shorten that up to the start. All right, so what we are going to do is draw a mask around our subject's face. You will need to be a little bit more precise on this one than the first effect, but still pretty rough. I'm just gonna feather that out a little bit. Take that hard edge off it. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're gonna take our razor tool and we're going to cut this up. Then with each frame, we're going to move the mask and the face to a different section. So if we keyframe our motion up here by clicking the stopwatch and then we drag this frame, it's going to move his face off his face. Gonna go to our next frame, just move it to a different area. So come back this way, create that hard edge along there. And next frame, we're gonna leave it the same. I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Next frame, maybe drag it down a little bit. This is all subject to your creativity. You can do whatever you like with it. This frame here, we're gonna get wild. We're gonna, gonna move that right off, right off there. Our next one, just a little bit, just move it, just subtle, just subtle. Right, so we're starting to get that effect where his face is jumping around. What we're gonna do, go back to our first frame. Just gonna start to drop the opacity a little bit. Play around with this, see, see what you can get. You can create a bit of a ghostly kind of look if you go right down. All right, last thing we're gonna do to really sell this look. It's so gonna come up and we're gonna put something on it called directional blur. So you just drag that onto your clips. You could do this before, but I like to drag it onto the individual clips so that I can change the intensities, change the direction on each one. So back to our first clip, got our direction here. We wanna change it to the same direction that his face is traveling. Play around with it a little bit, see what you can create. We don't wanna to go too intense, but we do, we do wanna get that natural motion blur, that natural movement. Just go through each clip, get creative with it. Now for this one where we've really brought his face off. Gonna feather that one out a little bit more. Bring our opacity back up a little bit. That's our finished effect. That's the look. Um, if you wanted to go a little bit more crazy, you can even drag these out. Move these around a little bit. See what different sort of effects you can create. Kind of looks cool when you move them to places that they weren't originally. With this clip, it's pretty slow, so it's not too much movement happening. 
that's the uh, the general look. Take a little bit of color. Drop that on. That is a little bit intense, but you get the idea of what it's going to look like when it's finished. All right, guys, let's take a quick break to pay some bills. I feel like a lot of us don't put a lot of thought into sound design when it comes to our post-production workflow. So I want you guys to check out my Instinct Trailer Cinematic Sound Effects Pack. This pack contains a ton of drony, cinematic, epic, whooshy, impactful sounds that I feel like would definitely aid your next project. And remember, you guys can get unlimited downloads from my favorite transition packs, effects packs, title packs for only $33 a month in the link below. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Colin is a freaking genius. You can check out his Instagram right here. Make sure to leave any comments regarding any other future content that you'd like me to make in the comments below. Please like this video. Please subscribe and click the notification bell on the side to get updates on all my future content. As always, guys, thanks for watching and keep it chill. If you live in the Los Angeles area and you want to know how to make music videos the professional way, then get $100 off this awesome workshop by my bro director, Matt Alonzo. Link below.